Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a comparison of Paraline Green. Now this is a new color to my palette because I was looking for a green that had a blue cast. And when I saw Paraline Green, I thought it would fit the bill. But I'm not sure which Paraline Green is best or better. So I'm just going to compare them to see what I have. So here's what I have. I have Da Vinci. Paraline Green. I've got Daniel Smith Paraline Green. This is a Roman Schmalz Paraline Green. I have Schminky Paraline Green. And then I have Windsor and Newton Paraline Green. See how this one looks olivey? I'm interested to see what happens. So let's take a look at these. I'm going to do a mass tone and then I'm gonna do a lighter tone for each of the colors first and then we're gonna mix. I've got some fun mixes for us. So let me pull this more in the center here. Excuse the storms, it's storming here. I'm gonna start with Da Vinci and the mass tone. And I'm looking for something really dark and deep and on the bluer side. It's a gorgeous color here. The reason I was looking for this blue is I was having to mix Indanthrone into a lot of my greens to get it to be on the bluer side. And I just wanted a convenience color. I'm already impressed. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, look how beautiful. So now I'm gonna just add water to this. I will be splashing these also because I want to see the liftability and how well they move when they get wet. That dark is so rich, wow. <laughs> then we're moving on to Daniel Smith's Paraline Green now. They look about the same. This one looks a little bluer. The Da Vinci looks a little bluer than the Daniel Smith. Now I'm going to do the watered down version. There's not a lot of difference here in these two colors. But in the water spots, there's a big difference there. That's pretty interesting. Then we're going to go to the Roman Schmal. And I only have a half pan or a full pan of this. I did a whole video on Roman Schmal. I did an art haul with it, and Paraline Green was one of my favorite colors in that, in that haul.
That's a beautiful color. <laughs> got a wonderful tone and it went down very smooth so you can see that they're all just a little different I like that a lot gonna water it down now Wow. Splash those. The next one is the Schminky. I've only really used Schminky, the granulated colors, the super granulated colors, so I'm interested to try some of these colors. Wow, look at this one. This one seems very blue, very deep. And I was thinking they were all going to be very much alike. <laughs> I like when I'm pleasantly surprised, for sure. This one is the most vibrant so far. All right, let's water this one down. They all kind of look alike on my palette, but it's just, it's different how they look on paper. You can see this one is much bluer. I'm going to blot that one. I got it kind of dark compared to the other ones. That's better. Just some water now. I'm going to smooth it around, soften out those marks. That's a better comparison now. Okay, I've got to get that some water on those. And the last paralleling green we have is Windsor & Newton. I used Windsor & Newton in college in the 80s. That should tell you how old I am. <laughs> but I haven't used them since. This is really rich. It's going on very nicely. Gonna water it down now.
All right, let's splash that one. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the subtle differences. Let me bring you closer. So this one was the Da Vinci. That one's Daniel Smith. Then we have Roman Schmal. Then we have Schminky. And then we have Windsor Newton. They're all very similar, but there are slight differences. The Schminky for sure is the boldest or the most vibrant to me. I think this one, the Roman Schmal, is kind of the least blue of them all. Um, the Windsor Newton has a really pretty tone. It will be interesting to see what they do with the colors we're gonna mix with. Because of me and my muted colors, one of the colors we're going to be mixing with is Daniel Smith Buff Titanium, only because it is a staple on my palette. And in order for me to understand what this is gonna do and how it's gonna dull, like when it dulls, is it gonna still keep its blue hue or is it going to just kind of water down all of the color? Because I do love the strength of the blue right now. We're also gonna use Quinacridone Deep Gold because I wanna see if it will enhance the color. Will it make it more yellow green? Will it make it more of a brown? Not sure, so we're gonna try that one. And then I've got Hold On To Your Seat, I've got Opera Pink. <laughs> These are all Daniel Smith colors that I'm mixing with because that is the majority of my palette. So Opera Pink, I just wanted to see what this intensity of pink will do with the rich darkness of the screens. Are you ready to explore? I hope so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm switching from my quill brush. I'm gonna go to my number 10 flat here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get three values of the three different colors. Like I said, I'm gonna try. <laughs> so let me get my palette ready here. So here's our colors. I've got Buff Titanium here. I've got the Quinacridone Gold Deep here, and then the Opera Pink. Do you see how much difference there is already? I, I love that. So I'm gonna swatch one color at a time. So I'm gonna do the Da Vinci row first, and then I will move on to each row. And at the end, I will bring it up close so that we can see all the beautiful colors it created. I'm gonna start with the Buff Titanium by itself first, because that'll help me remember what I'm mixing with. And I'm making it a fairly rich, watery mix because I want it to flow. I don't want it to be really stuck. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I'm going to slowly mix the green. And mix even more green. Wow, I like what that did. You can see that it almost changed that color there to like a green gray, which is very pretty. We're going to Quinn Gold Deep now. It was between Quinn Gold Deep and Quinn Sienna. The Sienna has more orange brown to it instead of this Quingold Deep, Deep has a little more, it seems a little more yellow. So when I mixed the other one, I got a lot of browns, which were beautiful. <laughs> but I thought this one would be more interesting to mix. And I do have to wet those too. I want to see the splash here. Okay, I'm going to add just a touch of green. Again, we're mi mixing Da Vinci right now. And I got a little too much there, so I'm gonna rinse my brush and add some more of that Quinn, Quinn Gold. That's better. Pretty, huh? Now let's add some more green. I'm trying to decide, do I want it more on the green side? Do I want it more on the brown side? <laughs> I think I want it more on the green so I can really see what, it's, what it does. 
Now, if you're following along, you know, try whatever colors you use a lot of because that's where it's gonna, you're gonna get the most value out of the color. And opera pink, I just threw it on there to see what would happen because it is such an intense color. I mean, look at it right there. That's crazy. I should just scoot that over a little more for you. The color's just shocking, <laughs> but I like it. Okay, let's try not to mix too much now. Just a little bit of green. Do you see what it did there? It made kind of a purple. That's awesome. Let's add a lot of green now and see what happens. Wow, that is pretty. Now, did you ever think that pink and green would make this beautiful purple? I know, right? This is what I really like about um, color mixing is you just never know. And every brand, every color is just a little different. And I really like that. I like seeing the subtle changes, which is why I really like doing the color comparisons like this, because this is really beautiful and it tells me a lot about the colors, but it doesn't tell me what it will do on my palette how it will make my palette more useful, how I can mix more colors, because you see, I could probably go really deep and it would almost be a green violet, which would be really, really pretty to use. So I'm excited to see what these other colors do because these results are already amazing. Okay, we're going on to the Daniel Smith. I'm being shy about the color here. <laughs> and a little bit more. I like how this really grays it down a lot which is one of the reasons it's on my palette. And has been from the start. <laughs> They're pretty even right now. We're on to Quinn Gold Deep. Add our green, see what happens. Seems a little richer at the start there. See how that one holds on to the green just a little bit different. Now we're going to shocking opera pink here. <laughs> Even just putting this on the palette, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> It's like a shock to my system, my muted system. All right, let's add a little bit of this green. Let's add a little bit more now. 
Let's totally change its color to dark. Now we have the Roman Schmall. Add just a touch. Look how great that one is. That's pretty. Queen Gold Deep now. Opera pink. I still can't believe I'm using opera pink, you guys. <laughs> I forgot to do my opera by itself. Started mixing right away. Are you seeing the slight variations? They're not that big. It'd be really nice to see when they're dry just what just what everything looks like. I need more blue in that mix. Sorry, I need more green in that mix. Are you seeing the slight variations? Like right now I can see just a few. I'm loving these two greenish grays, actually like green browns, they're kind of pretty. I'm liking the different purple variations. So this one seems a lot bluer. That's blue, that one's a little more on the red side. And you know I'm loving all of those colors because this color here almost looks like Davies Gray. And remember how much I love Davies Gray. Now we are on to Schminky. And remember how intense that one is. This is going to be interesting. I hope we get some nice, intense colors out of this. And the first thing we're adding it with is buff. <laughs> so I doubt it. But we'll try. I forgot to add my buff by itself. Wow, <laughs> I need to add a little bit more buff. That was a little too much of the green. That's better. They're so subtle, the changes. It's really pretty. Quinacridin Gold Deep. Thank you for the reminder to do the strip.
what a beautiful color. So as I'm going through, are you thinking in, to yourself like what you would create with these colors? What would you use them in? Right now, the depths of our pond looks this color because of all the rain we've been getting and so that washes in a lot of mud. This is a beautiful kind of sky color. It's very pretty. This pink would be beautiful with irises. And right now we have sweet peas in the garden. Those are kind of the colors, especially in the shadows, especially this dark color, I think would look really pretty in the shadows. I was hoping this one would give us a nice intense purple because of how vibrant that color is up there. Oh yeah, look at that. One more to go, and that's Windsor Newton. Hobby Lobby just had a huge clearance on their Windsor Newton paints, and I bought what I could. I think I got 17 tubes to try them, so I'll be doing a swatch here. They're clearancing out their paints, some of their watercolors. I took advantage of that. All right, Windsor Newton, let's see how you do. This color here kind of reminds me of Pat's Coastal Blue of American Journey. It's just like the right tone. If it goes a little greener, it's more coastal fog, but right now it's looking like the Pat's Coastal Blue, which is very pretty. And I can't get over the closeness to Davy's Gray when you mix it with more green like this. Quinciana? Oh, sorry, Quinn, Quinn Deep Gold. I'm so glad I picked this color to mix with it. Need a little bit more gold in there. That's better. Okay, the final color, opera pink. We're almost done. Thank you for hanging in with here with me while I create these colors. Too much perylene. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, those are our swatched colors. I'm going to let them all dry and then I will label them and then I will be back. Okay, I've written all my colors and how I did, how I treated this middle row because this is three colors, I have a dot here and a dot here and then at this last part I wrote dot, middle color mix is with Quinn Gold, Quinn Deep Gold Daniel Smith. And the rest just say Buff Titanium along the top and these say Opera Pink, but that way I remember what I mixed with for the middle value there. So let me bring you up close and I'm going to show you a couple rows at a time. Again, this was Da Vinci, Daniel Smith, Roman Schmall, Schmincke, and Windsor Newton. Are you seeing any differences? They're slight, but they're there. Look how much greener Roman Schmall is than the other two. And for me, Da Vinci is very grayed. And look at these beautiful mixes. Are you surprised what the green did with those? Are you surprised that it made a purple with the opera pink or that it gave that beautiful green brown with the Quin Deep Gold? Now look how rich the schminky color is. It's so deep. I really just like the depth that that color gets. Again, here they are with the Buff Titanium, the Quinn Deep Gold, and the Opera Pink. I really like the Schminky Pink there, what it did to make create that purple. All in all, I think the colors here, because of Schminky being so rich and so dark, I think all of these are a little deeper and they show a little bit more personality because of the richness of, of the starting color, I believe, because they all started with the same mixes. You know, they're all the Daniel Smith colors. I really am impressed with the Schminky. My second favorite would have to be probably the Daniel Smith, only because it grays the colors really nice up here with the Buff Titanium, and that's a color I use a lot. I really like the green coming through here on the Da Vinci one. You know, that color right there is very beautiful. I could see me using that color over and over and over. I wouldn't hardly ever use the Quinn Deep Gold by itself, but these other two rows are really, really nice. Again, with the Opera Pink too, I probably wouldn't use that by itself. But the fact that these, you're getting either a red purple or like a bluish green purple, I really like that. And that's something I would like to do a little bit more value study with to see just what the Opera Pink and the green get. Like think of mixing them a little bit at a time, but for 10 values. So if all of this was starting with the Opera Pink, and the green down here and then just slowly adding to see what the full spectrum would be. I think that would be really nice. I think you would be surprised with the colors that you get because just the tiniest bit, you know, changed it. So if you were to really add it heavy green, it would be really nice to see what would happen with that. So I hope you enjoyed our Paraline Green comparison and in the comments below, please let me know your favorite Paraline Green and your favorite color that we mixed. I would love to hear that. If you were inspired today, please like, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.